myself, and look who it is. It's a town for Miss Stephanie. She normally helps me on Thursdays. She helped me out tonight for our, one of our two times a month dances here in Herndon, Virginia, Herndon Social Dancers. This West Coast Swing sequence is something I haven't taught in a long time, and I mean a long time. But it's a cool move, and I just should have brought it back sooner. We brought it back today. It begins kind of an unusual beginning, syncopated six count movement, and we're going to do a sugar push. Now, you would want to let, show your follower this before you try to do it. If you do lead and follow with this, I don't think she's going to know what you're doing. One, two, three. We're going to go one, two, three. So I'm walking back on one, two. She's coming forward, one, two. Tap my left toe out to my left. Your follower will mirror her, mirror you, and tap her right foot. So one, two, tap. So sugar push here, three and four, five and six, one, two, three. Then we're going to do a ball change. Well, I'm going to cross my right foot in front of my left. She'll mirror that. And four. So it's a little tap step and go over. So sugar push here. One, two, three, and four. Five and six. One, two, three, and four. My weighted on my right. Stephanie's weighted on my left. Let's go this other direction. Just, just to see it. It's not anything different, but it's just the way to four. One, two, three, and four. Now from here. You're doing a ronde, lead and follow, ronde this. It's for the five and six. So we're just going to get to five and six and stop. Sugar push, two, three and four, five and six. So one, two, three and four, five and six. Weighted on my left foot on six, weighted on her right. So again, make sure you show it to her because she's not going to see it unless you really make her see it first. So sugar push, three and four, you do the tap. One, two, tap and cross, slide, come down. Now you're both doing a half circle with the ronde. Her foot possibly is going to bump into yours as you're doing these ronde. So guys, make your ronde a little shorter and compact to let her do some more styling. That gets you to six. Normally on a six count pattern, my weight's on my right and hers is on her left. But now we're on the opposite foot. So we got to get off that foot and correct her footwork for the next count. So, hardest part of this, that's the X factor. Sugar push, three and four. Five and six. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. Now I'm compressing into her where they're closest to each other for most of the sequence. What I'm going to do is go back on my right foot, push her back on hers, and go, and one. Now it flows better when you actually do the rest of it, but you want to make sure you and come forward together on one, which puts you on the correct footwork. So look at it. Kind of hard to do with just the end. One, three, and four. Five and six, so one, two, three, and four. Five and six, and one. It's better to see what I'm doing on this one front to back. So on my animal meters, you're going to move a little bit over to your left. And four, five and six, so one, two, three, and four, five and six, and one. So I move over to my left, which is to her right. And six puts me back on my left foot on one as she goes to her right foot. From there, it's a regular basket width. We don't do a lot of basket whips for some reason. This one works really well for it. So at the end of the sugar push, we do the X factor. So one, two, three, and four, five, and six, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight. Remember a basket whip, and this is not the in the move, but a basket whip is an eight count. One, two, three, and four, move off the track. Guys, get off the track, get back on the track. It's the same move, except that in one, flows into the ending. So the whole thing, X factor, shift push. One, two, three, and four, five, and six. We're gonna go one, two, tap and cross, so ronde, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and front to back one more time, and we're done. Sugar push, and again with the factor, so one, two, tap and over, ronde, and one, two, three, and four, five, six, and again on the ronde, on this job, I'm sorry, on the basket, when you come over, and one, raise her right, which is your left, keep this other hand low, get off the track, one, two, let her continue to forward, but bring back three, and four, five, six, and then she's done. That's a breakdown of X Factor. Thank you, my dear. She's wonderful, helps me everywhere. Thank you guys, as always, your support means the most to us. Remember to click subscribe, it's a free video, once a week, sometimes twice a week. Hope you use them. That's why we do it. Until next time, have a great week. Keep dancing.